Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ghost Dude here, and this is my review on the Power Rangers Mega Force Gosei Megazord. So, um, let me get right back. Real quick, I forgot something. Okay, I am back. And, um, yeah, so this, I got this set. Pretty cool. Uh, it comes with two Power Rangers uh, power cards. And the first one is. Go say Great Megazord, and there's all the stats. It's holding the um, the sword, pretty cool. Next one is the Go say Great Grand Megazord is when combined with um, uh, Go say Ground. Was it Go say Grand? Uh, anyway, um, uh, Robo Knights Megazord um, to form this thing. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Again, stats. Uh, it's a scissor, and this is a paper hand. So yeah, and yeah, you can read about what they do. Okay, so enough of that. Uh, I don't have the Ghost and Morpher, so I can't do any cards. I'll make a video um, of the cards that came with the these Power Ranger Mega Force stuff when I get the Morpher. But well, now Megas all time. So let's concentrate on the small ones. Um, here's the. Um, Shark, shark, um, mecha zord. They don't say mega zords. They say mecha zords. So yeah, um, all these uh, zords that don't, the mouths don't open like the Japanese counterpart, and they're a bit smaller than the Japanese counterpart, and some paint detail missing now and then. But they got the important bit paint details that needed. So there's a bigger hole right through uh, shark's mouth, and they can all detach. They have wheels on the bottom. So you have the Gose Brasta, you can launch them. That's pretty cool. They all have wheels. Oh, just a dragon. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, submarine at first, and then the header attaches to the submarine and becomes the shark. So that's how that works out. So the shark. Here is a phoenix, which is kind of only proportion. It has this big old head, but a tiny, tiny little body. Anyway, uh, the wings are already opened up like this. It's actually supposed to be only open about this much in the show. Um, yeah, head comes off. Attaches to a F-22 Raptor, I think. I might be wrong. It's a fighter jet. Anyway, it attaches to a fighter jet. How about that? And, you know, go see. Um, the Phoenix Mechazord has wheels. It's just the same as the shark. Next it is the Tiger Zord. So it's pretty nice in detail. Head pops off and rolls. And this attaches to a bulldozer to form this. Here is the ghost of a snake. Heavily modified. Um sorry. Yeah, they, yeah the Japanese couldn't do this. This is part of the uh, Zord building set. So if you have the Zord from uh, 2010 Megazords from 2010 to now, you can Zord build all of these and mix and match. That's pretty cool. Uh, cross note to get to like a snake's kind of body or something like this. The Japanese one, I think you can like loosen up all these joints and you can actually side like side winder um, uh, play a barely. Anyway, that's what it does. Head pops up, touches to a border train, boom. So, there's the uh, snake and nest, but that least is the dragon zord, uh, dragon maker zord. It's nice, big, it's the biggest one on the group, obviously. Um, another thing the Japanese one didn't have, uh, compared to the American one, is its wings can actually bend like this. So, you can say space, you know, it's like, you know, landed right down on the stuff. You can have a flight ready and all that. Uh, wings do go up and down, and back, and forward. Um, the horn right here does move up. I guess when it's in dragon mode, I leave it up in Megazone, I leave it down. So yeah, the so dragon's will be like about this much. I can actually bend about that much upwards, but it looks weird. So bit down like that. So it looks good. Uh, mouth is not open, like I said. And yeah. And the Japanese one, the head flips out from right here, but the American one, it's in the sword, so... Yeah, it just looks kind of weird, just sticking out like that, you know. 
When you look at an angle, you can actually see its face. Okay, so enough talk. Let's get into making uh, the ghost say Megazord. So, can I like do it in the show? Just like goes up first, flips this part right there, comes up behind Tiger, and those two plug in, and then these two form upwards like so. So you got that done, and y'all can't see anything. Dragon's all gonna have to touch the tail. He's gonna come down. I think it slides in the Japanese one, but you know, this one just plugs it like this. Like so. And push the head in, push this down. That's my preference. Phoenix, close the wings. Done. Touch this. Shock. You wanna split its tail. And when you open it, it matches. Pretty much evenly with the other side, the other arm. So that's nice. And they've done this arm combination before with the um, Wild Force Megazord. There was a shark right here, and there was a white Megazord. I think it was a tiger. But you know, you, you know what I'm getting at. Anyway, so, so you want to flip that open, then pull his head out, and then prop it up right here. So, here is the Gosei Megazor. It looks pretty good. It, um, the, the Japanese one, all the, you know, how Japanese one, they're, they're a bit bigger, a bit taller. But this one looks nice and streamlined, and the legs are spread out. So, I, I, I am liking the newer Megazords after 2010. I mean,. I mean, I I'm, don't don't um don't get me wrong. I do enjoy all the old Megazords, but these new Megazords with the streamlined body looks really really awesome. Shall we? Yep, that's right. In. Okay, so articulation head. You pop it up. You can turn it. But he's looking only this way. Or oh, another way he looks. Hold on a second. Okay, that was only one way. I don't know how I did it backwards. Anyway, so his head can't turn stuck like that. Arms can move up until it hits the wings. And you can bend the wings. And it will move the arms. Waist, he really doesn't have it. It's just loose. He's a very loose guy. I mean, I'm, I'm just moving his legs back and forth real quick. And this, this is how jiggly he is. He's not stable. Anyway, um... Legs, you, you can get some kind of possibility. I mean, they go, do go outside the side, but that's for transformation. And don't do it like that. But take it out. I'm actually kind of breaking that part. I'm actually breaking the seam right here about just a bit, so don't try to force it. Kind of sideways, but not really. So, yeah, that's all the articulation. It's a mega zone. We all know that. So, here's the sword. Goes to any hand, preferably the sharks. And he's ready for combat. And I just realized, because in the show, uh, when the dragon was flying, it shoots its toes out like missiles. And these can be like waste missile launchers coming out. So that's pretty cool. So, getting up from the back, it's pretty bland. Oh, there's one thing I'd like to um, say though. The um, the Japanese version of the Dragon's Tail Sword has an extra piece right here, and this would be like a socket for the like a header connector, and the sword would be sticking like this. I wish they did that to the American version. Um, I wish there was like a, let's see how would they do it. There would be like a little peg right here that you can flip out and put it on its back and just leave it like that. I would be fine with that. But they did not include that, and there's no way to store the sword. Like, cool, I mean, you can do it like this, but it looks like he has a tail that doesn't go all the way in. And it doesn't go all the way in because it's specifically shaped on the outer part right here. So you can only put it in this way. And 
yeah, it doesn't look good in any way you do it. So yeah, that's my only complaint about the uh, Megazord. It doesn't have um, the ability to store its sword on its back like it does in the show, which looks pretty cool. But anyway, so that's my review on the Gosei Megazord. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more awesome reviews from Gosei Dude, and I'll see you guys next time.